Budapest. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Oh, yes. Budapest in Budapest. We love the food in Budapest. It has been so good. This week, we want to take you on a food journey around Budapest. Oh, and we're going to show you one little amazing, quite quirky, hearty Hungarian place we found in a little village just outside of Budapest. Budapest is by far my favorite city in mainland Europe so far. We almost had the perfect day there. If you missed last week's adventure, it was all about our almost perfect day in Budapest. But this week is all about the food. We tried so many great foods in Budapest and Greater Hungary. The variety really blew us away. There really is an epic food culture in Hungary, which makes sense. It's called Hungary. <laughs> okay, these are our five favorite places to gorge. Because it's all I am super excited to be here in the food market. This place is called Holodud Kai. We've got a sleeping baby. <laughs> and a very hungry papa. <laughs> Let's go. exciting so it comes with potatoes loads of vegetables and the main event itself is absolutely just cheese heaven cheese chicken and bacon and goose to heaven I am so excited we're here in the market and everywhere you look there's amazing food it's been really hard to choose and we've gone for schnitzel now I always thought schnitzel was just like breaded chicken stuff but look at this we picked this because there's loads of burnt gooey bits cheesy I'm not too sure what's in it we nicknamed it the lump um, when we saw it, it just looked like a lump of amazing food so I'm gonna give it a go pick it straight in oh. Whatever meat is in there, it's soft. Okay, here we go, look at this. I think it's either onion or bacon, there's cheese, there's chicken, there's sauce, let's see what it's like. Mm. Wow, that's so good. Mm. Super tender, um, it's it's actually quite sweet, I didn't expect it to be sweet. Um, it's very creamy, there's loads of cheese in there, so creamy sweet sauce, probably some tomatoes. I'm gonna stick in, this is amazing. Now it's time to see what baby boy thinks of this food. Oh, no, that's Papa's hand. <laughs> Let's try a bit of potato first. What do you reckon? Give that a go. Mm. He's just woken up, so he might not be as enthusiastic as me about this. Hold on, I'm gonna give it a go too. <laughs> I've only got one hand, so I can't carve the meat apart, but what I can do oh, yes. is I can take a bit of this cheese. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's good. A mush of well-cooked, juicy vegetables and creamy, stringy cheese. Mwah. This market is incredible. The market is full of food from all around the world. I thought this was Asian at first, but it's actually Russian. I've never tried Russian dumplings before. To me, it looks Chinese. You've got some kind of cream on there, and who knows what's inside? It's a dumpling, you can't see. Hope it's nice. Let's see. Mmm. Well, oh, that's delicious. Well, wow. so. There's no spice in it. I expect it to be quite spicy with it being a dumpling. But because it's a Russian dumpling, it's just basically meat and dumplingness. That's pretty good. Delicious. Mm. <laughs> dumplingness. Dumplingness. Mm. Yeah, I totally expect it like a spice as soon as you bite in, but no. I mean, yeah, yeah. are you still yeah. going? 
An absolute must do if you're here in Budapest is visiting a hummus bar. I had no idea what to expect, but when I was told there was a meal without meat, to be honest, I was a little bit nervous. So let's see if it can fill up a hungry triumph boy. Starting off with the falafel. So falafel are balls made up of chickpeas and all sorts of good vegetarian, vegan -y stuff. So let's give falafel a go. Got to dip it first. Plenty of hummus, very creamy. Um, mm, that is really good. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> on the outside, really, really crispy and crunchy. On the inside, it bursts with flavour. It's really soft and you can taste the different herbs and spices. We've got another dish here that contains eggplant, salad, um, and I'm just going to show you this bad boy. Lots of good stuff in here. And what I'm going to do is just take a bit of the eggplant and have it with the other things. Various bits of salad. So here we go. Have a look at that. So let's give it a go and see how the, the mix works. Mm. That is really good. So the eggplant is slimy, but in a good way. It kind of mixes up with the egg. It gives it a kind of proteiny feel and then you've got the hummus it's actually quite a satisfying filling combination yet also quite creamy and full of flavor so so far although there's no meat in this meal it's really doing the job it's satisfying it's filling talking of which every meal i have i like to do what's called the try on mouthful now the try on mouthful is basically where you take a bit of every single food on the table put it all on one fork or just in your hand and try it all together so with a meal with this much variety that's quite an exciting concept so let's start with some bread just tear that bread off look at that this this bread is freshly baked on side here we're gonna pop a bit of falafel into it and break the falafel up so i can fit more in with it good scoop of hummus and salad bit of the egg get some eggplant in there oh, definitely need to have some chips that's essential for a, a try on mouthful there's some tasty looking sauces here as well it looks like a kind of salsa sauce definitely need some of that in there I think I should put some more hummus on top. There's still space here. There you go, <laughs> dribbling that. That is the try on mouthful. So let's give this a go. No table manners here, <laughs> just sheer satisfaction. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> mm. Wash it down with a good beer. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And we are in a hummus bar. I don't think I gave the hummus enough love. If you have hummus from a supermarket, it's usually quite thick and usually a bit of texture to it, but this stuff is a bit different. So, if you have a look at the hummus, it's really creamy and a little bit more runny than you'd normally find, find it if you brought it from a supermarket. So, mmm. That is really good. So, um, it's really creamy flavour as well as a creamy texture. It's, different to any hummus I've had before. It's um, almost like a sauce on the bread and it just sits really nice in your mouth. It's a delicious, delicious hummus. I'd like to have this again. One of my favorite things about Budapest is cheap pizza on the street corners. <laughs> Not too sure about that name, but we have found what looks like an amazing goulash place. Come inside and have a look. Thank you. There you go, good service at the door. <laughs> okay, come and have a look at this. Oh, a selection of incredible looking pickles. We've got gherkins, beetroots, pickled peppers, pickled cabbage. Oh, feast your eyes on that. But hold on, here's a main treat. Look at this bread of food. Wow. Do you know what you're ordering yet? And yes. Um, just over there you'll have seen the goulash so I'm going to try one of these goulashes we're in Hungary this is a place to do it and I'm going to torture you by showing you the goulash and let you know what it tastes like well the country name is Hungary and we have a hungry baby and we also have a hungry papa so we'll just get him fueled up on some potatoes so this is our first dish. Um, I can't believe this is small, but basically you've got some garlicky potatoes, some meat and gravy all mixed together. I think baby boy wants some more of that. That's going down well. So it looks like it's gonna be tasty. Looking forward to trying that. And this is a goulash. So goulash 
It's basically a soup. It's got large chunks of beef. I'm told this is homemade, so it looks awesome. And all around the edge, these are not dumplings. These are actually noodles. I said this is the way that you have Hungarian goulash with the noodles as well. So let's give these bad boys a try and I'll let you know how they work out. We'll start off with the potatoes. So definitely need to get some of the meat onto this too. There you go. This looks delicious, look at that. Mmm. Oh wow. Very garlicky um, and full of rich flavour. It's quite tender meat. It feels like it's been cooked for a long time in the grave of the potatoes, which has kind of made it go into this beautiful mush. And I love the meat. The meat is pork. Mmm. And that is delicious, so slow cooked pork with potatoes and garlic. Over here, goulash. goulash. Oh, wow. We've got beef and dumplings. Well, they're not dumplings, they're noodles actually. Yeah, noodles. Oh. They've got a rich, creamy, tangy, tomato y sauce that just clings to the meat. The meat's really tender, again, being cooked for ages. We've mixed some onions in with this. I think oh, Baby Boy hungry. wants to try. So, here we go. Do here we go. Baby? What do you reckon? Give that a try. Where's goulash, baby? Do you reckon? Oh, <laughs> I think he likes yes. that. You always slouch back when you've, we've got good food. It's, like, it's a habit. That's Another habit I have is called the try on mouthful. So what I like to do is get a bit of everything onto the fork. Not a bit, but a, a, a big bit of everything. And then just try it all together. So, we're going to get some goulash and some of the dumplings on there. Some of the potato and the pork and all in one mouthful, here you go. This is the try on mouthful. Mmm. Oh. Match made in heaven. That is delicious. The fifth and final has to be the cupcake bars. Oh my word. Creamy caramel, chewy coconut. The cupcakes were just amazing. We were a bit cheeky one morning and actually had them for breakfast. Oops. Oh, and watch out for the famous chimney cakes. They are dangerously good. We love the food culture. I'm so sorry we couldn't share all of it with you. We had everything from local hearty Hungarian to far-flung Vietnamese to random pizzas and falafel wraps costing less than £2 through to bistro tempura prawn mango salads costing around £6. <clears throat> Full disclosure, the tempura prawn mango salad would have made the list, but I may have ate it too quickly. Uh, sorry, please don't judge me. Please don't hate me. It was just so full of prawny goodness, I couldn't resist. Sometimes the hardest thing about making food vlogs is that we don't get to eat it straight away. Oh, the hardships we go through for you guys. Have you ever tried Hungarian food? Let us know in the comments section below. It is exactly what you need after a good swim. Speaking of swimming, make sure you check out our video from last week. It was mostly about epic thermal baths and a little bit about me being an idiot and thinking jumping into freezing cold water is a good idea. Was a good idea. I don't think it was a good idea. Yeah, but you might want to see that video. Next week we are trying to find a mysterious place in Hungary called Salt Hill. We've heard whispers of it, but we can't quite seem to find out exactly what it is or where it is, but it should be fun. If you are new to the channel, join us, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and we will see you next week for more adventures.